you see, Hasidus and our Rebbe of this generation has told us that all the work has been done, the polishing of the buttons, metaphor of uh, a soldier's outfit that needs to get polished up before he meets the king. And this sometimes has been really confusing in this generation because it seems like, okay, we did all the work, now we can just like wait and, you know, and, and not even, even dare think we have yet more to polish within ourselves. Which leads to a bit of confusion for some. And and even if it's not so confusing to others, of course they may think, yeah, I wish I wouldn't be as angry with my child. I wish I would respect my husband more. I wish I could, you know, daven with, you know, better kavana and whatever it is that they're trying to polish up in their life. Um, the urgency of the moment may be diminished because this concept of all the work has been done and now we just have to mekabel penei mashiach like that's the work we we need to do so what does it mean to be mekabel penei mashiach okay so it is working on changing our mindsets to like not be so limited in our perspectives that like in any second he can literally come but when you take a deeper look at that, um, it's really getting ourselves ready for that day, any minute that Mashiach should come. Meaning, doing the inner work to banish the darkness by really shining in more light. But most people don't know how to really bring that godly light inwardly. You know, so it'll affect a change in their midos, which this is really a critical point that's missing in a lot of places and a lot of yeshivas and a lot of elementary schools. Um, how to get that inner light to be able to banish the darkness. And the Rebbe Rashab in Kuntrasa Tefillah clearly like points it out how you could learn all the Hasidis, daven three times a day and have such a meduya chassid on all the inyanim, but like he still can be crass, arrogant and angry and so forth. And the Rebbe Rashab points out that it's the his bonanus in davening that draws in the light of the Torah to be able to then affect a change in the innards of our Midot. And this is a critical factor that is literally a remedy for the ailing, challenged souls of today, whether it's self-flagellation or self-hatred and the guilt feelings for not being so good and then ending up like trying to battle the, the the challenges within by escaping into the pleasures of the world because as Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, I just that's a, a byproduct of not being able to cope with our failures and our weaknesses, and which then gives more power to the animal soul because we just gave into it because the animal soul, um, you know, is tricked by the Yitzhara, and and the Yitzhara wants us to be. Uh, sinful, not because of the sin, but because he knows that this will lead us toward indulgences to escape the war within. And so, the the wholesome and like most wholesome, as I call CBTT, like cognitive behavioral, like Torah, Tanya therapies, to look at all the avenues by which we can clear the way to allow this inner light come in because you can learn and pray but if you're totally indulging in a in a very crass way then it could block the light of being inward so you really need to look at all the aspects to really free the person and have that final geula within so that they can mekabel mashiach some people are so overburnt from 
facing their darkness that they don't have the strength anymore to like deal with it and so they use this kind of mindset of the work has already been done all I have to do is get ready to Mikabal Mashiach and they then don't invest the time to really um, heal their Midos and then that's why there's so many challenges in our youth because of, of this real big dilemma um, there's so many challenges in relationships and so high divorce rates uh, I mean, it's just, there's just so much addictions and escapism. And um, because the work is so daunting, seemingly, to them, but it really isn't. It's really Kikarova Davarma Od, and it's really all the Hora'as and the Tanya that are clear and very specific and very, uh, very easy to do. It's not like we have to go to the moon and back to find the real self. It's all within us. It's just taking the steps to, you know, get rid of the blockages and barriers by doing avoidus Hashem the way Hasidus meant us to do. Of course, everything that our Rebbe's teaches are to be taken literally. And yes, all the work has been done. We polished even the buttons. But this was meant for the global work of the Jewish people since time immemorial. We have done as a collective soul, as a collective group, our job to bring Mashiach. And the time is now. But again, this can be a little confusing for some. And for some, even though it may not be confusing, it's still confusing of how to do that inner work to be ready for the Mashiach.